Another very nice stretching protocol for the piriformis and deep lateral rotation musculature can be done with the client's supine. In this case, instead of stretching her into lateral rotation, which would stretch the piriformis as a medial rotator, we will stretch her into what's called horizontal AD, horizontal adduction, which stretches the piriformis because in this position here, the piriformis is a horizontal abductor. So we will bring you over to this side. Now this can be done by me standing on that side and pushing on the distal lateral thigh. But a very nice way to do it is to do it contralaterally. So I'll stretch her right side by standing on her left side. I face across the table and my armpit, the axillary region that is more cephalad toward her head, I go around her knee here. This hand rests on the table right there. This hand can rest on the table here. I get a stable base with my feet and now I simply lean down with body weight. When I lean down with body weight, I am pushing her thigh into horizontal adduction, which stretches here a line of tension, piriformis, horizontal abduction musculature. Something that's very important about this stretching protocol is the direction that I lean. If I lean this way, I pull the whole pelvis off the table and the stretch is lost at the piriformis and moves up into the low back. So instead what I have to do is drop down at an angle that I keep the pelvis on the table. However, for some people, pushing down compresses in this area and causes a pinching sensation. When that occurs, I can take this hand out and this hand off the table here, brace finger pads on finger pads, and then I can traction the soft tissue as well as the head of the femur out of the joint and then bring her down around that pivot point. So I make space in the joint as I stretch her over. For most clients, that will eliminate the pinching discomfort in front. Another nice addendum to this stretch is, instead of holding to the table on each side, this hand here, I can take off the table, I can reach around, find her PSIS, curl my fingertips on the medial side of it, and as I use my body weight to drop down, I can pull with my fingertips to pull the, in this case, her right pelvic bone away from the sacrum, so this becomes both a stretch for the deep lateral rotation musculature and it's also a mobilization for the right side sacroiliac joint. Because the contact is on the thigh, we're not contacting the leg, we do not place a torque into the knee joint. So for a client with a pathologic condition of the knee, this is a very nice stretch because it protects the knee joint. One other very nice version here, if the client's knee is so uncomfortable that even having any pressure near it would cause discomfort, we can bring her up around and come over here this way so that I'm not contacting her leg at all, again, but now her leg is actually resting against my trunk, my body wall back here, and now I lean in directly on the thigh this way. I still have the choice of opening up the joint and making space. I still have the choice of adding some motion palpation at the actual PSIS sacroiliac joint.